Hi, I'm Donnell. I'm the creator of Age of Five Movement Therapy, and I'm here to bring you another movement medicine workout. Movement therapy is based in physical therapy. It's basically physical therapy in motion. Today is special because we're going to add in a lymphatic workout. The lymphatic system is one of the most under valued systems in the health and fitness world. And I'm here to change that because we have to get inside. The healthier we are inside, the healthier we are outside. The lymphatic workout is to strengthen your inner body, your inner health, your inner longevity. And we're gonna combine that with the movement therapy so that you leave here feeling great both in and out. All you're gonna need is a mat. And if you're ready to begin, grab your mat and start in a seated position. Come into a comfortable seated position. If you need to, to make your seat even more comfortable, and if they're available, grab two yoga blocks, put one under each knee. Grab onto your knees with your hands. Draw up the front line of your spine. Sit tall, collarbones wide. We're gonna start with inner health. We're gonna start by working the lymphatic system, stimulating the lymphatic system. So we're gonna start with some breath work to stimulate the lymph, to get the lymph moving so that we can release it. Your lymphatic system is your detox system. It will make you healthy if it is healthy. That's why we're here. So we're gonna begin with a breath. This is how we do it. You're gonna inhale for the count of four, and then you'll hold the inhale in and you'll continue to expand out for four. And then you'll slowly exhale for the count of four and you'll hold that exhale breath out for four and then right at the end of that four count exhale breath hold we go back in for four and we expand for four as we hold the inhale breath into the body and then we exhale for four pushing the breath down the body and then we hold that exhale breath out okay before we inhale again let's try it sit tall arms straight lift into the center of the chest collarbones wide good so go ahead just take a couple breaths on your own together inhale just a regular inhale exhale completely let's do a couple together inhale for four three two one Hold the breath in for four, three, two, one. Slow exhale for four, three, two, one. Hold it out for four, three, two, one. Inhale four, three, two, one. Hold it in four, three, two, one. Slow exhale four, three, two, one, hold it, four, three, two, one, one more, inhale, four, three, two, one, hold it in, expand, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold it out, four, three, two, one, breathe. Breathe as you breathe. So it's a dedicated breath to that inner health, that inner system that we're working towards for today, the lymphatic system. We're going to now do it together where I'll just count it out. I won't say hold in, hold out. We'll just go four, 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 and four. Inhale for four, hold it in for four. Exhale for four, hold it out for four. Let's do it together. Sit tall. Take a breath in. Exhale. Let's begin. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. On your own.
when you're done, breathe. Good. So now we're going to put that breath in motion. This is where the real healing begins. Movement and breath combined really to stimulate the lymphatic system, to get it moving so that it can work the way it's meant to work. Because when the lymph lymphatic system is stagnant, so are you. So we're just waking it up. That's what we're doing. Grab onto your knees. We're going to put it to movement. You guys know cat and cow. I know you do a lot of yoga, so you know cat and cow on all fours. We're going to do cat and cow right here in the seated position. We'll practice together a couple times, and then we'll flow. Grab onto your knees. Sit tall in the chest, collarbones wide. Good. Let's take a breath in together. Exhale slowly. Good. Inhale for four. Spine long. Three, two, one. As you hold the inhale in, pull the chest forward, bend the elbows, extend the spine. Now as you exhale for four, start to come into that cat position. Chest comes in, spine round, shoulders go forward. Hold the breath out for four, three, two, one. Come back up to your center, four, three, two, one. Go into that spinal extension cow position as you hold the inhale breath in. And then exhale, suck in the chest, spread the shoulder blades around the spine like cats. At the end of the exhale, hold it for four, three, two, one. Come up, four, three, two, one. Extend, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four. Three, two, one. Hold it in. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Go deeper, holding it out. Four, three, two, one. Follow the counts. Inhale. Four, three, two, one. Hold. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. One, hold, four, three, two, one, on your own. Come back to your center. Pause. Good. We're going to do that one more time, but this time with the twisting. Take your hands to your rib cage. Lift up through the center of your chest. Try not to move your head or move the rest of your body and turn your ribs to the left, elbows to the corner edges of your mat. And then return to your center and twist to your right. Return to your center. Try not to move your head. Keep your gaze forward. Once again, lift up to the center of your chest and twist. Return to the center. Lift into the center of your chest and twist. That's the twist. It comes from the middle spine, the ribs, where the ribs are connected to the thoracic spine is what it's called, the mid spine. That's where our twist is going to happen from. So let's do that together with the breath. Put your hands on your rib cage. Good. Now, you remember it, four in, hold it in for four, exhale for four, hold it out for four. So the way it's going to go is we go inhale for four. While as we hold it in, we create the twist. When we exhale, we go deeper into the twist. And when we hold the exhale, we are at the bottom edge of that twist. It's where all the muscles are firing. That's where we're really getting into the inner body. That's how we're stimulating the lymph system. And then the four count inhale breath brings us back. And then the four count hold inhale breath creates the twist. And then the exhale takes us deeper. And then the hold takes us to that bottom edge where that really starts to stimulate the lymphatic system. So let's try it. Hands on your ribcage, sit tall. Let's go. Take one breath in. Keep the chest up as you exhale. Let's begin. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Create the twist as you hold the breath. Four, three, two, one. Now exhale. Turn your head over your shoulder. Hold the breath out. Inhale. Come back to your center for four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, hold, four, three, two, one, inhale for four, three, two, one, hold it in, four, three, 
two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Inhale, center, four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Go deep for four, three, two, one. Bring it back to center for four, three, two, and one. Release. Whew. Should have felt that. Down deep, using the muscles, simulating the inner body. And that's what this is all about. So now we move on. Slow. You can either use your hands or not, but I like to try to get people to not use their hands. Come into an ankle mobility roll, roll over the ankles, come onto all fours. Make adjustments as you need to. Tuck your toes under, press down through your big toes. Come forward into your fingertips, push down into the fingertips, claw at the mat, activate the hands. From here, feel the energy in the arms, flex the muscles in the arms, so no wobbly arms, keep them strong, keep them tight. Good. Check something really quick. Notice if the eyes of your elbows are forward. If they are, I want you to press down through the fingertips, draw up into the chest, and turn the eyes of the elbows in. Good. Now, with your toes tucked under, press down through the big toes, right underneath the nail bed. We're going to come into what I call a tiger position. Start to push down through each hand as hard as you can. And as you push down and keep pushing down, you'll feel the energy rise up into the body. And as it does, lift your shins from the mat. It's called tiger. Knees are forward, hips are back. Shins parallel to the mat. Belly drawing up towards the spine. Shoulder heads forward over the fingertips. Claw with your fingers onto the mat. Activate your hands. Fire up your arms. Hold it for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your eyes forward. Walk your hands back towards your toes. Suck in your belly. Suck in your chest. Your arms are super heavy. Roll up slow to a standing position. Breathe. Good. Take a moment. I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than your hips. So if you find your hip points, right, and then put your hands straight down. Most of your practice will align your joints this way, will align your stance this way. But for the movement therapy practice, we need to open our stance slightly. So open your feet wider than your hip points. This is going to give us space to move. This is going to give us space to heal our outer body. So now we're going to focus on the joints, the spinal movements. We're going to focus on movement therapy. Let's begin with our feet. Shift forward into your toes. Claw your toes at the mat the way you just did with your fingertips in tiger. Shift your body weight forward. Nice. Now as you push down through the toes, specifically the big toes, right underneath the nail bed of each big toe, lift your heels just about one inch from the mat. Now you might feel yourself wobbling. That's good. I call it working the wobble. It's the wobble that actually strengthens us, right? So allow the wobble to happen. Work the wobble. Get a hold of it. Use your big toes on the mat for stability. Heels just one inch off the ground, and we're going to pulse eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the hover. Good. Work the wobble. Pulse again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hover. 